Kia ora tato, and welcome to the virtual launch of Lost Gold, a new book from Te Papa Press about the ornithology of the Auckland Islands in New Zealand's sub-Antarctic. We're bringing you this launch uh, by remote means because even though the country is now at level two, it's not possible to gather, as we had hoped we would do originally in April, the original scheduled date for this book. But now bookshops are open, we're able to put it on sale, but just not gather together. This is a very significant book. It's been many years in the making, and it rests on the observations and early science of the many people who have explored the islands and understood how ecologically significant they are. I'd like to thank our editors, Colin Muskelly and Craig Sines for the amazing job they've done pulling this book together. An enormous job. And I'd also like to thank Birds New Zealand for working with us on it. We're very proud to be its publisher. It's a significant book. Thank you for joining us for this very unusual way of launching it. And please now, will you join us in listening to Colin Muscali telling us a little bit more about the project? Thank you so much. Kia ora koutou and welcome to this virtual book launch for Lost Gold. It's been 65 years in the making, so a little COVID delay is not going to matter much in the, in the big picture. So this is first mentioned or the need of it, in 1955. And it was a former director of Te Papa, you could say, Dominion Museum, Sir Robert Feller, who had been down there in, to the Auckland Islands in the Second World War, who was the person we all expected would deliver this product. And in 1973, he entered an agreement with Brian Bell from the Wildlife Service that the two of them would do it. But unfortunately, they never got round to completing the task and neither of them are with us any longer. And in 2018, so two years ago, I had a chance to go to the Auckland Islands with another Te Papa colleague, Alan Tennyson, and we made what we thought were a few exciting discoveries, but we didn't really know because there was no context. And that was really the genesis for getting together with all of the collaborators, all the people who are doing research down in the Auckland Islands, particularly Kath Walker, Graham Elliott, Kalinka Rexa Huber and Graham Parker, uh, but many others as well. And they all came on board with much enthusiasm, delivered some wonderful manuscripts that we managed to tie together with the help of Craig Symes, who's the editor of Natornis, and the wonderful team at Te Papa Press. And with funding contributions from Birds New Zealand, Department of Conservation, and some very generous sponsorship from the McEwen family, that's uh, Charles Fleming's daughter, uh, Mary McEwen, and Ian and Gwyneth Armitage, and also from Te Papa. So lots of people have contributed. We're very pleased with the final product, and we're glad that we've finally got the chance to share it with you. Hello, my name is Bruce McKinley. I'm the president of Birds New Zealand, and it's a real pleasure to join you in the virtual launch of Lost Gold, the ornithology of the uh, Auckland Islands. Lost Gold is published as a special part of Natornis, the Journal of Record for Ornithology in New Zealand and the South Pacific. The Society publishes uh, Natornis, and we're really pleased to be able to bring you this special edition of Natornis focused on the ornithology of the Auckland Islands. This project has been brought together by um, Dr. Colin Muskelly of Te Papa and also uh, Natornis editor, Dr. Craig Symes, and I'm really grateful to their efforts to collate all the papers that they've published in the special part of Natornis and to bring it together in this really spectacular form. I'd also like to acknowledge uh, our partner here, Te Papa Press, who have brought together and produced a really fine product and I'm really looking forward to having this as part of the ongoing record of the ornithology of the Auckland Islands and of New Zealand. I'd also like to acknowledge the Society's Projects Assistance Fund for its contributions and also the Department of Conservation, Te Papa Artify, for contributing funds to bring this publication to, together. It's unfortunate that we find ourselves unable to do this in live, but I'm really pleased that Te Papa Press has gone the extra way to have a virtual launch and to invite publications, uh, invite contributions from people who um, have participated in the publication of Lost Gold. I wish everybody a really great evening and uh, look forward to um, catching up with you one day when things are back to normal. Thank you very much. Kia ora katoa. In 1990, uh, I was looking after the Sub-Antarctic Islands and the real gem Auckland Islands and 
I went down there with uh, Kath Walker, Graham Elliott and Reese Buckingham and spent uh, five weeks down there. I was trying to be the first to walk from Carnley Harbour to uh, Port Ross and I had the tent completely blown apart on the ridge uh, above Carnley Harbour in a horrendous storm and had to head back to Tagawa Bay Coast Watch Station where we eked our life out with uh, cutting bits of bread, uh, we were running out of food and this, these big storms were rolling through and it took uh, four days before Kath and Graham were able to come over and pick up Andy Apps and I but I just love that place and uh, the work that, that Colm and Craig have done on this fantastic book with uh, 29 authors, uh, this, this record, I'm just so proud of what you've done and I wished we could have all been there if it wasn't for COVID to celebrate this history of ornithology on this magnificent place, Mokahuka, Auckland Islands, and I just recommend this book to everybody. I love what you've done, guys, and congratulations. And when we, when we come out of COVID, we've still got to do it. You've done a fantastic job, one of the great places on the planet. I've done a lot of trips to Antarctica and coming back on ships. It's uh, Mokahuka, Auckland Islands that people remember just about more than the Antarctic. Kurakoto Katawa. The rich story of Auckland Island's birds has been hidden for more than 200 years, buried in ships' logs, castaways' memoirs, secret military files, researchers' notebooks, and unpublished reports. This compendium of 19 papers by leading researchers unlocks a treasure chest of discoveries old and new and sets a benchmark for assessing future changes.